this video we are going to see how to send poll on telegram channel from google sheet so you have some data on your google sheets where you have certain questions options explanation etc now with this information you would want to create a poll and send it on telegram how would you do this for this you will have to integrate these two applications and the same can be done using public connect software here your trigger application would be google sheets and your action application would be telegram now how can you do this yourself integrate and automate this entire process to understand that let me take you to my screen to begin with the process we are first going to type the url pabli.com slash connect and as we do that it will take us to the landing page of the software now here on the right hand side you can see two options sign in and sign up for free you already have an account with us simply sign in but if you do not have an account with us sign up won't take more than two minutes and also at the time of account creation you will get 100 free tasks so now i'm going to click on and here i have reached the all applications page since we are doing this integration using public connect software let's click on access now and here we have reached the dashboard of the application let's click on create workflow once done here it is asking us to name this workflow so i want that i have some information on my google sheet with that i want to create a poll on telegram so i'm going to name it as google sheets telegram bot integration let's click on create so once done we have reached another window which has got two very important events one is trigger and another one is action triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works trigger is when this happens and action is do this basically action is the response of our trigger so what is our trigger application here it would be google sheets because we are extracting data from there and our action application would be telegram so now here i'm going to find google sheets and here it is let's click on this and now the trigger event this is the event that will make my workflow start so i'm going to click on new or updated spreadsheet row here you can see that we have received a webhook url basically this is going to act as a bridge for connecting the two applications public connect and google sheets i'm going to copy this now I'm going to take you to the Google Sheet that I've already created. So this is the Google Sheet that I've already created. The name is Telegram Poll and the name of the sheet is Sheet 1. Here I have the following column fields. One is question, option A, option B, then answer, explanation and close date. So here I have got questions like is it important to stay healthy and fit. Now we can see that we have option yes and option no but here I have written my answer as 0 and 1. Why? Because this is the telegram format. It accepts the answers only as 0, 1, 2, 3. If your answer is quite like 1, option A it would be 0, option B would be 1, option C would be 2 and so on. So let's say that you can have 10 options. If your 10th option is the answer then your answer here in numbers would be 9. I hope this is clear to you. Now to connect Google Sheets with Pabli Connect will go to extensions and go to add-ons. Then we have to go to get add-ons. Once we are here, we have reached the Google Workspace Marketplace. Here you have to look for the application Pabli Connect webhooks. Let's click on this and here you can see that it is already installed on my system. If it is not there on your system, just install it. It won't take time. Once done, I'm going to close this window, go back to extensions and here you can see Pabli Connect webhooks. It would appear something like this. Now you have to go to initial setup. Once we are here, you can see that it has captured the sheet number. I'm going to delete this, go back to Public Connect, copy this webhook URL once again, go back to my sheet and paste it over here. Now the trigger column. The trigger column is the final data column on which the data is added and for me it is F. So you can see that it is already there. Let's click on send test. So as soon as we do that here we can see that the test data has been sent successfully and now I'm going to click on submit. As soon as we do that going back to public connect here you can see that we have received the api response we have the question we have the options the answer explanation close date spreadsheet name spreadsheet id the sheet name sheet id etc which means that we have received all the information once done what do i want that this information with this information a poll should be created on telegram so now i'm going to choose my next action application as telegram Let's click on telegram bot and here the action event would be to send a poll. Let's click on connect. 
Once done, Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the Telegram bot account. To set up this connection, I'm going to click on Add New Connection, and here it is asking for a token. Now, how do you have to generate this token? To understand this, let me take you to my Telegram web account. And the first thing that you have to do is you have to go to Botfather. Once you're here, you have to type slash new bot. As you click on enter, here you can see that it is asking to choose a name for your bot. So let me write Google Sheets Tele 123. And now as I click on enter, it is saying that yes, this is the right name. Now we have to select the username. So this time I'm going to write G S T. What is GST? Google Sheets Telegram 12345. And remember that at the end of your username, you have to always put underscore bot. Let's click on enter. And here you can see that we have created a new bot and we can find this new bot at this hyperlink and this is our token. So I'm going to now copy this, go back to public connect and paste it over here. Let's click on save to set up this connection. Now here we can see that public connect is connected with the telegram account. Here we have to write the group ID. How would we find this group ID? Going back to Telegram. Now I'm going to click on this hyperlink, the board that we have just created. Once done here, I'm going to click on start to start this conversation. Now you can see as soon as I've done that, it is there on my chat list. I'm just going to write a hi here and here this is there. Once it is here, you have to click on this right option, go to new group and here I'm going to create a new group. So let's say I have taken few people randomly, but one person, one particular person that you're supposed to have in your group is the board that you have just created, which is Google Sheets Tele 123. Right now I'm going to click on enter and let's name our new group. So it is GST 123 new. This is the name of my group. Let's click on enter. Now, once you can see that the group is created, what is your objective? First, you have to make the bot the admin. For this, you can take your phone and all you have to do is you have to go to your Telegram account and then you have to go to the group that you have just created. Once you are there, all you have to do is you have to select the member, basically the bot and then promote it to admin. So once this is done, now what we are going to do, I'm going to here select this particular part. This is my chat ID. Let's copy this, go back to public connect and paste it over here. This is your group ID. Now this is a poll, so it has to be a quiz. We have to map this information. Now what is mapping that I already have this information in my previous step. I'm just going to retrieve it here. So let's click on this, click on Google Sheets. This is my question. Then option one so here i have the option one then here is the option two and then if i come down do you want the person who is submitting this poll who is taking this question to be anonymous so let's say yes now do you want to allow multiple answers no what is the correct option now to understand the correct option i'm going to first toggle this towards the right to map the information delete this go to the first step and this is my answer which is zero then the answer explanation so here is the answer explanation then do i want it in pass mode yes closed it but here it is saying that the closed date has to be in timestamp format and we are we have our closed date in simple format now we need a feature by pabli so first i'm going to just save this once saved I'm going to take you up and here I'm going to add another action step, which is actually a feature by Pabli. The name is date time formatter. Let's click on this. And what is my objective to format date with time zone? Let's click on connect. Now the date. So the date is 30th September 2022. What is the form format? It is very simple date, month and year. And uh, here I'm going to choose this one because we have a slash. Now two format would be timestamp in millisecond. Then we have the from time zone. So we are going to select UTC. Then two time zone is again going to be UTC. And now let's click on save and send test request. So here we have received our data in the desired format. 
now i'm going to go down first i'm going to press control f5 so that this entire thing can be refreshed once done i'm going to go to step three and here i'm going to go to the close date this is it let's map it go to step two and this is my close date once done do you want to disable notification no i wish to have notifications do you want to protect this content i do not have any harmful content or any content that can create issue so no i do not want to protect my content let's click on save and send test request and here you can see that we have received our API response which says that yes, there is a poll which is now created on Telegram. To check that out, let's go to our Telegram account and yes, here you can see that there's a question, is it important to stay healthy and fit? And you have two options, yes and no. Let's say, though the answer is yes, I wish to say no. You can see that a red mark has come which means that it is wrong and also at the same time you have received the explanation to live a medicine free life it is important to stay healthy and fit so this basically means that our entire integration process is a success but we also need to check this in real time so i'm going to take you back to our google sheets and here i'm going to add another question which is do our parents love us okay Again, here the option is yes, here the option is no, then what is my answer? Of course, it is yes. And the explanation is that parents love their children unconditionally. Okay. And what is the close date for this particular poll? So, let's say it is 3rd October 2022. This is 3rd. Yeah, done. Now I'm going to just change the formatting over here. Once done. Yeah, this is done. So now I am done with this information. What should happen? A poll should be created, taking you back to Public Connect. Sorry, taking you back to Telegram. Here you can see that yes, another poll is right in front of us. Do our parents love us? Let's say yes. So see, this is the right answer. Now, this is such an awesome way to connect with your team, to connect with your clients, give that personal touch and also to understand them better. I hope you're very much clear with this. Going back to Public Connect, let's understand the entire process. So this was an extremely easy two step integration process where our trigger application was Google Sheets and the trigger event was new or updated spreadsheet row. Then our action application was Telegram bot and the event was to send a poll. To change the format of the date, we had added one feature by Pabli which was date time formatter just to format the date with time zone. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow of the same integration that we have done. It is there in the video description. Also, you can clone the same and start to process immediately. If you have any other advice or suggestion for us, or if you wish to work on some particular integration, you can always write to us. I hope this was helpful. To watch more such videos, you can always subscribe to our channel, which is there on YouTube. If you have any queries, you can write to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you want to know our pricing plans, then you can visit us at this particular site. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe if you have liked this video.